bench we're, we're going to talk about really surprised a lot of people and yeah we are huge dmd fans here on dynamite download and you know crayfish is is out sick this week but he is um he would have a lot to say and i know he will have a lot to say on friday about dmd losing to nyla rose yes nyla rose is an ex-champ uh, but DMD is clearly the face of the division, and we yeah. all agree. And I'll, you know, I feel like everyone, on, most people on social media, agree that she should be leading the charge of this tournament, should be winning this tournament, and ultimately take the belt from Sheeta to become the face of the women's division. Uh, she deserves it. Her hard working, she's a hard working, and would be perfect heel for that belt to really put some more eyes on it. In my opinion, um, this match, you know was an outstanding match. This was a hard hitting. This just shows how tough and how strong and why Nyla Rose was the first, you know, the champ because she is just, Oh my gosh, is she strong? And, and, and Britt was selling so great for Nyla as well. And, you know, Tony Schiavone was saying how intelligent and how talented Britt Baker is. And she is, and she deserves every bit of success that she's getting and even more. And Britt was just so, strategic and methodic with her match you know it was completely different than what she was when she first uh maddie in first round you know granted that was a last minute swerve switch but she was so aggressive she didn't even come out to her entrance she started beating her up before the bell and was just on almost non-stop offense the whole match and then finally just put her away this you had to be she had to slow it down a little be a little bit more methodic I and mean, she's dealing with the native beast nyla rose i mean wow <sighs> what do you think uh, again, like you said, the match was great. It was just you, we got to see the ring psychology at at work, you know, which is really fun when you get to see, you know, like you mm. said last week or, or earlier in this week, we got to see Britt take on a completely different opponent. And mm-hmm. so when you see the just the size and strength difference of Nyla Rose to Britt Baker, you have to see her evolve. And I don't think mm-hmm. Nyla Rose really had to evolve for Britt. It was the other way around. And that's when you can tell, right. like, oh man, this is this can go either way. As soon as as soon as we saw Britt leave the ring and start to like just trash trash yeah. ringside, it was like, okay, this is going to be a, a really interesting match. Right. Um, it's going to be a marathon. Did that right away. And it was, yeah, it was like, and away. after that, it was almost a, a dominant, it was very dominant from Nyla in a lot of the, the rest of the match. And Britt kind of gotten in little bits of offense and just would take crazy bumps. And it was really, really entertaining. Uh, the end game is really interesting for what we're going to see in the tournament long term mm-hmm. but i think the match itself was was a really good one and an elite for me it was hands down elite and i know crayfish yeah. would agree even though um brit baker did not come out victorious you know i was right. i was kind of like one of those like oh no why you know she didn't because we all wanted her and want her yeah. to succeed and and take the gold uh soon hopefully um there could be some kind of massive swerve down the line that we don't know but yeah. you know, it's just a reminder how strong Nyla is, how dominant she is. You know, we miss her in the her ring. So long. She is so deserving to be on in the ring nonstop. It is right. fun to watch her. She her superplexes were just outstanding. And even Nyla, she she's such a good seller too. She goes both ways. You know, like can just absolutely just go on tear, yeah. but also can really sell a match. She's a great storyteller. Britt Baker is a great storyteller. These two. Um, surprised me you know the announce team did a good job with with kind of bringing up a backstory of how they used to be teammates and how nyla hurt her and she was out for multiple months because of that yeah and then they're like oh no is she gonna hurt her again and so um it was uh it was a lot of false finishes a lot of close calls i really thought Britt baker was going to come out on top on this one and um where they go from here with her i think Britt might have a interference or something with thunder because clearly we saw in the first round that she's not done with thunder and thunder's not done with her. How she really made a statement with Maddie drawing on her face and calling out thunder Rosa. So you could have this side feud continue with thunder and Brit, which would be, would be must see TV, even though if it doesn't involve any gold or this tournament, that would still be an outstanding part of the women's division and, and that feud going forward. Definitely. I agree completely. I think that they, they've been really selling that feud well and they've done a good job. And I think that if they can continue that, even without the belt involved, that would Mm -hmm. be fantastic because they've, to be completely honest, I feel like they've been one of the most entertaining parts of dynamite every 
every time they're on, um, mm -hmm. this view, they've been the, one of the most entertaining parts and just their match, their matches have been great too. So that's one thing I feel like a lot of people are disappointed. They're not going to get to see that part three in this tournament, but hopefully they're setting up for in the future. Um, even if not, or even if uh, Thunder Rosa wins the tournament itself and comes out on top, uh, we might see that happen as well with Brit. So who knows? Um, I'm curious to see where it goes, and I'm curious to see what happens with Thunder versus Nyla Rose. Now that's going to be an interesting match. Whoa, you think Thunder is going to beat Rio? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that hasn't <laughs> happened yet. My bad. Um, well, so we think. So I'm throwing up the most yeah. recent graphic here of the tournament. I, I, if since Brit's out. We all agree we want Thunder to go all the way yeah. and ultimately get that sign on the dotted line. <laughs> I know it is hard to keep track because they're throwing yeah. them on different days. We got the next big, big uh, show on Sunday. Um, but it Thunder should go all the way. She should win. Yeah. I, you know, a clean loss to Rio, I don't think is in the cards. I think Thunder is probably one of the hottest women in AEW right now in terms of her momentum. Um, so does Britt have kind of an interference or Reba Sweet have some kind of interference? You know, I love Reba being at ringside and getting more involved. You know, she's just this annoying like sidekick to, to Britt and she's really adding another level to that. So <clears throat> does Reba get involved again in the match costing her? Because she costed the essentially the match versus you know DMD at Beach Break, and so who knows where they go with that? That would be interesting booking. That way you have a rematch of Nyla and Rio, um, yeah. which would be kind of intriguing as well. But ultimately, then again, you have from the U.S. side ex champions, you know, going at it. You know, so do you want a That's fresh a face? One. I think I think the women's division needs a fresh face, fe fresh, fresh face there we go <laughs> aw women's needs a fresh face uh champion um would that then would if nyla and rio are in the finals in the u.s would you would uh, you have a japanese uh, um contender take the victory you know over Sheeta or what you know it's it's hard to build a tournament like this and have Sheeta defend in my opinion you're so, yeah it's setting up so much <laughs> to have just it kind of stay the same um and unless again, unless they're they're building more storylines through what they're doing, which is what we could see, you know. With right. I think that Brit losing tonight can can lead to a lot of things um, that aren't necessarily tournament like involved in the tournament. So All we'll right. see some. We might see some interferences, like you said, and I think that that would be in really interesting, um, especially if it leads to somebody winning the the whole thing. Who knows? What if she? interferes and then the person she helped with interference wins the whole thing and then you who knows that could completely changed the the landscape of the division so True. there's a lot going on a lot of moving parts and I, I doubt we see everything that's going on behind the scenes it's hard to i mean it it's easy to fantasy book but it's hard to really like you never know until you yeah. know you know like it is it's what's so fun to watch and tune in every single week and i think um this sunday's bleacher report show is going to be <clears throat> so fun to watch and such a nice addition that they're doing this. Um, yeah. But it was a little bit hard to follow, but it, it is great that they're doing these Monday night shows and then they're doing um, the Sunday night one. And then so next week on dynamite, did they announce when the finals match is going to be? Yeah. Next week on dynamite, it, right? Isn't the, f yeah. The, the, is the finals, finals match the revolution or is it on the title match is that revolution the title match the finals, revolution, right? I believe is the next dynamite. Gotcha. That makes sense. Because then if they do everything on Sunday and then get everything going for the – that makes sense. Well, they're going to have to have a Thunder or Rio match. Or Winner of Thunder Rio versus Nyla probably it's on – schedule again. Yeah. It's it's a little hard to conf to follow, but yeah, there's, it's worth It's on so many different sure. networks and everything. Yeah. It's it, – yeah, we, we got to get that down. Now. <laughs> Finally, you know, we're getting a lot of a lot of buzz and excitement out of the women's division, and that's what's it's what's great. It's a win-win across the board for sure.